Hello, hello, and welcome everyone to the Talent Show powered by T Tech, Season 3, Episode 20. I am your host, Leisha Bush, Global Senior Manager of Social Media, and super excited to kind of kick things off uh, today. So, are you glad that you guys are already jumping in? Hello, hello. Um, well, first, did you know that it is Customer Service Week? Did you know that? Well, I would like to say a special thank you to all that work in the customer service industry, no matter what role you may have. You are so appreciated. So thank you so much um, for your service, because we all know that customer service is extremely important in today's uh, time. And, and with that being said, I want to kick things off with a question. Why is customer service important in the digital world? that we live in today. Let me ask that again. Why is our customer service important in the digital world we live in today? I would love to actually hear from you all. Um, and that way we can highlight some of your responses throughout the show. Um, our guest today is Mikey Ebert, Executive Director of Global Operations. And Mikey actually will celebrate her 22 years with T-Tech here in November. Um, wow, that is an amazing accomplishment. And Mike actually resides in Morgantown, West Virginia. So shout out to those that are um, in West Virginia. And she is a, a avid dog lover. If you have any questions for Mikey, um, please feel free to drop those questions in the comments. And we will try to make sure that we can answer some of them um, at near the end of the episode. Um, but of course, we always want to know where you're located. So drop it in the comments. Where are you located today? For those that may have uh, not known, I'm in Houston, Texas, um, where it is going to be 90 degrees uh, today and sunny. Where are you located? Um, would love to kind of see where you guys are at today before we bring on uh, Miss Mikey. All right. So while you guys are doing that, let's go ahead and bring on our special guest today, Mikey. Hey, everybody. Hello, Mikey. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Well, good afternoon. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. I know it's still morning for you, but in West Virginia, we are at noon now. So <laughs> It's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. Exactly. Um, well, thank you so much for joining us on this episode today and in and, and a special week, Customer Service Week. Um, can you maybe start with telling us a little bit about you, Mikey, and a little bit about your T-Tech story? Yeah, sure, sure. So um, as Lisa mentioned, uh, 22 years in November, I, I always would make the joke with people when I'd meet them and tell them I started when I was like 10 years old uh, because I, <laughs> I can't be 50 now. But uh, um, anyways, uh, so yeah, I started back in uh, 2000. We were just opening the Morgantown, West Virginia location with T-Tech, which now happens to be our second oldest uh, site in the in the U.S. Well, actually, all of the Americas at this point. Um, and so I had an opportunity to come in as a team leader or supervisor um, for a telecommunications project at the time. And then um, in 2002, um, T-Tech um, had an opportunity to begin a, a relationship with a, a very large financial client. Um, and we launched that out of the Morgantown location. I, I had a really cool uh, opportunity to go to California and train from the, the client facility for three weeks and, and spend some time in California um, and enjoyed my weekends there very much. Um, and we've really been able to grow that relationship over the, the last 20 years with that um, with that financial client still still with T-Tech. And so very exciting. Um, I, I As I mentioned, when that happened, I was still in the team lead role. Um, I, I did the team lead role for three total years between the two different programs, um, moved into a manager role for two years, uh, promoted to senior manager for two years, um, and then um, had an amazing opportunity uh, to, to move into the director role as well as the site lead role for the Morgantown site. Um, and I did that for 12 years. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, it, you know, it was just such an amazing time um, being there with the frontline employees and and working with our team leads day in and day out. Um, I did after almost 20 years in the Morgantown side and supporting that that same client um, kind of ready for a new challenge. Um, 
So at the end of 2019, I uh, moved into my current role. I got promoted to executive director and uh, my, my responsibilities are, I, I'm a regional leader. Um, and what that means is I help support all of our sites um, and the U.S. and Canada is where it started. And then it, it continued to expand. Um, I ha added Mexico uh, and Brazil a year later. And then uh, most recently, um, yeah. support for our new locations in Colombia and Honduras. So um, what I do as a regional leader, like I said, I really work to assist our sites with everything T-Tech, whether it has to do with employee engagement, um, the events and activities. We actually put together tons of... Um, activities for customer service week to celebrate our employees and and hear about you know your customer experience stories um mm -hmm. you know do some rewards and recognition um through that um so that's all part of uh the program that i support um all of our health and safety uh you know keeping our employees safe uh, especially over the last two and a half years has been very challenging yeah. and then trying time for everybody but i i feel very proud of of what T-Tech was able to accomplish in terms of getting, you know, virtually all of our employees um, to work from home within, you know, a month's period of time um, globally. Yeah. Um, you know, people didn't lose their jobs. You know, we were able to still support our clients. And so just really proud of all the work that we were able to do there. Um, you know, we make sure that the facilities themselves are, are a great uh, place for our employees to come work and, you know, any type of disaster recovery that might need to happen, um, you know, for weather or anything else. Um, yeah, my, team, my team ma manages all that. So that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. And, you know, it's funny, actually, there's a couple of people who are in the comment section today saying they're saying hello to you because they said they've worked with you before and you've been amazing to work with. So that's awesome. awesome. Um, and then actually someone chimed in about the question I, I asked at the top of the show, which is, um, you know, why is customer service um, important in the digital world? And someone responded um, saying, I think Abhishek said, every customer buying online needs to have a great support system. Uh, these support systems help any business grow. And that's what customer support helps to keep a customer and business connected to each other. I, I definitely thank you for your comment. And I definitely agree with that. Um, it's, it's really important in that customer experience and, and, and hence why we have Mikey on this call today. Now, you know, we speaking of customer experience and customer service week, we obviously are in the middle of it. Tell us why this is such a great week to celebrate our frontline associates and operations teams. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, when I think about customer service week and I think about T-Tech and, and what we do, like our frontline associate, they're they're the backbone of everything that we do. They're the backbone of our company. They're what makes us work and what makes us so successful. Um, and it's just it's such a fun time and a wonderful time to really call attention out to, you know, the importance of customer service and the people that provide it. Um, it's it's a great way for us to show, you know, how much we appreciate our employees for all that they do when it comes to supporting, educating, providing solutions, you know, for our clients, customers, you know, day in and day out. It's, it's a, it's a tough job, um, but a, a very satisfying job, I, I know. Um, and, and so I just, it's a wonderful time to be able to, to recognize everything that they do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and actually another comment came in and someone said, Donna said, customer service is important in the digital world as it allows you to see immediate feedback, whether positive or negative, and use that information to improve what's going wrong and commend what is. So absolutely, thank you for that comment, Donna. Now, would you share your favorite customer service stories? <laughs> Because I know you have many, 22 years worth. Well, you know, uh, yeah, over, I, I think sometimes we could write <clears throat> write books after that many years. But, um, you know, for me, um, I've always, customer service for me personally has always been focused on providing support to our internal T-Tech customers, so our associates, our team leads, our trainers, managers, Um I, I pride myself on trying to be a problem solver. Um, and, you know, I like to, you know, when somebody brings, you know, questions, concerns, challenges that they're having, um, I always want to try to find the solution and a resolution for them. Um, and that's really what customer service for me is. Um, like you said, probably so many over, over the time. Um, 
I'm not sure if I can just come up with a single one. I, I have a funny one that I think is funny anyway. So when I, when I think about how I solve problems and, and try to find resolution for my internal customers, for, for our, our, our employees, um, when I was in the Morgantown site, um, we got a direction from facilities that said, hey, you know what, Mikey, we, we're going to get rid of all of the paper towel dispensers in the bathrooms. And I was like, what? <laughs> okay, well, we can do that. And so my employees were up in arms. They're like, you know what, Mikey, you know, we're, we always use the paper towels to grab the doors. We don't want to touch the dirty door handles, et cetera. Right. And so mm -hmm. I'm like, how am I going to solve for this? How am I going to fix this for my, my team? That's very unhappy. So initially I tried putting hand sanitizer dispensers on outside of the door. So like once they touch the door, they can then clean their hands again. And for some people that was a good solution, but others were like, you know what? I still have to touch the dirty door handle and, and I'm not happy. <laughs> and so um, I came up with a, a very creative, uh, what I thought creative solution um, that really worked. So we had two men's and two women's restrooms. And um, what I did was in, in one set of them, I took off the doors. Totally removed them. So it was just like you were at the mall or an airport. You couldn't see in. You had to kind of, you'd have to go around and see in. Um, so those people did not have to touch the doors. And then I um, I left the doors on the others with a sanitizer. And I had no more complaints. It was, you know, like I was able to find a solution um, for my, my employees, for all of them. Everybody was happy. Um, and so... I, for me, it was just like a funny, like, you know, like, what am I, you know, okay, let's take down doors off bathrooms. <laughs> but for me, like, it's just that's, you have to find um, right. whether it's your your customer that we're talking to on the phone, or it's your internal customers. What can I do to find a, ultimately a resolution for them and, and satisfy everyone um, <laughs> as much as possible. And so for me, that's kind of what customer service is. And just being that problem solver and, and solution maker for my, my team. Yeah. You know, customer um, service is customer experience, right? And how do we elevate that for um, every step in the process when the, the consumer is interacting with a, a brand or a business or in, in, in the case you mentioned, even for employees, um, you know, how do we, how do we elevate that customer experience and make it a positive one? Um, well, we, we're all, yeah, customers, we're all customers, whether right. we're while we're at work or when we're outside of work, right? That's right. Uh, well, Mikey, you are a CX magic maker for our upcoming 40th anniversary. So congratulations for that. That is an amazing feat because it is from your peers, right, that voted for you, uh, saying that you deliver customer uh, excellent customer experience and customer service um, for your team and, and throughout the company. And so tell us a little bit about why. Uh, this is actually an exciting recognition for you. Oh, it's um, so you know when I when I found out I got nominated to begin with that that was just amazing in and of itself to be nominated. Um, they then narrowed it down to I think four hundred people, and mm -hmm. um, you know we had to you know submit um, you know you know, why we're so excited about T-Tech and, and the, and the 40th anniversary, we actually had to do a video. Um, and then, you know, so when I found that I, you know, even got narrowed down to the 400, I was like, Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> like, you know, I just, I just appreciate it. And then when I found out they scheduled a call, um, for all of us, they tried to, to make it look like it was a focus group. And then it ended up being like the announcement that we were winners. And, um, I can't tell you myself included, like, I, I mean, I couldn't help but cry. Like it was Aww. just such an emotional time and it just, it meant so much. Like I'm excited to go to Disney. Absolutely. Of I'm, I love Disney. I'm a, a big Disney fan. Um, but to know that different people that I worked with had nominated me and appreciated what I had done and the support that I provided to them. I mean, I, I can't even begin to tell you how much that meant to me um, and to be chosen out of so, so many amazing people. I know there were people that didn't get selected that are just as amazing. And, um, you know, 
we, we have just such an amazing company to work for and I'm so excited. We're going, um, you know, the beginning of next year and, and I'm really excited because I get to work or I get, I'm going to get to meet people that I work with um, day in and day out that I've never met in person. And so mm -hmm. I think that's the other thing that's really exciting to me. I don't care whether it was Disney or, you know, mm -hmm. we're just going out to dinner just to get to be recognized and to interact and meet so many amazing people is just uh, just wonderful. <laughs> Great. Well, congratulations again. And I, and I'm, we're going to actually follow you guys to Disney so we can actually oh. <laughs> bring that back to, to the, to oh, everyone cool. here so they can see the amazing time you guys had in Disney. Um, so now what career advice would you give others? Cause you've been with company for so long that, you know, yeah. stories are, you know, these are really special stories because uh, tenure in this day and age is is now a, a rarity, right? Gone are the days where um, people are with companies for a long time. And it says a lot about you as an employee, as a team member, and even as the T-Tech culture. Um, so I'm sure everyone wants to know, what advice would you give others? Yeah, sure. So I actually, so I just turned 50 this year and I've only worked for two companies in my entire life. Um, and, you know, T-Tech was, was one of them um, for, for 22 of those years. So, um, so at career advice, I would say for me um, to ask for feedback and accept it openly. Um, it may not always feel like it, but, but I, I've always taken feedback as a gift. You know, sometimes it's not easy as a leader to give constructive feedback to somebody, mm -hmm. um, but it's also always, often not easy to hear it. Um, you know, it's great to always hear what you're doing well, mm -hmm. but it's it's more important to be open to hearing feedback about where you can can learn and and grow and how you can improve because ultimately that's going to help you meet your goals. I when I was a um, a senior manager and I really wanted to move into the director role. I, I got passed over um, initially for an opportunity and the, I loved the boss that I had or the manager that I had at the time, but everything was always just positive feedback, which was great mm -hmm. to hear. Don't get me wrong. Like you love hearing the positive stuff, but she never gave me any constructive feedback and, mm -hmm. um, and I didn't, I didn't really grow. And um, so then when she left, I had a new um, leader come in and he gave me a lot of constructive feedback, which at first I was like, Oh gosh, like what happened to the good stuff? <laughs> um, but within a year I, I promoted into my director role. Um, and so just, I, I, I can't stress enough, be open to accepting the feedback um, make sure your your direct managers know what your goals are and what you want to do. And if they're not giving you the feedback proactively and, and sharing with you ways that you can, can grow, ask them for that. There's nothing wrong with asking. Um, and just, like I said, accept their recommendations and their feedback with open arms because it is a true gift. Absolutely. And I, I'm love, love that you said that because I think we talked about this on talent show with uh, Steve a few weeks ago about that constructive criticism and how challenging it can be to hear it. Right. Because we want to always hear positive, positive, but you can't grow with just having only positive feedback. Right. So that's, that's great. Um, we did have a question from um, one of our audience members saying, Hey, in your experience, how has customer service week delivery evolved or customer service maybe is what they meant e delivery evolved over the years and affected a positive change in our now digital world how has it evolved in the yes. digital world hmm. i think we've we've had to to learn how to communicate in, in different ways with our customers over the years right um you know, I, but, but I still think a lot of the basis is the same in, in that you need to put yourself in the customer's shoes, try to really listen and understand where they're coming from um, and, and find a, a, that solution for yeah. them. Um, so I, I think while maybe how we, how we communicate and the different you know technologies that we've found to communicate with our, our customers over the years. I think the basis is the same is that you have to listen, put yourselves in their shoes, be very empathetic mm -hmm. um, to what they're, you know, maybe it's the 50th call you've heard where somebody needs a, a, a fee refunded. Um, but to them, it's still the, their first call and it's the first time they're calling. And so you have to, to try to be empathetic and, and take each call as if it was your first. 
That's great. And then one final question before you leave us today, which is the fun question I ask everyone, what advice would you give your 21 year old self? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a long time ago, Alicia. <laughs> but um, I, you know, I, I used to be very, when I started out as a manager for another company before I came to T-Tech, I literally would get up in front of my, my staff with my head down and talk real quiet. And I was very shy and, and I didn't really speak up a whole lot. And so I guess what I would go back and tell myself is, you know, don't be afraid to speak up and share concerns that I have or ideas maybe that I had. Um, I know we talked about feedback being a gift, you know, provide feedback in the form of sharing my concerns and suggestions. Um, th those are gifts to the leaders too, because as a leader, you don't know how to make improvements if people don't speak up. And, and I think initially I was very shy to speak up and share suggestions and, and share concerns that I had because I didn't want to be seen as a complainer or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I think if you have a concern, it's always great to bring a, a solution with you if you can um, to provide, you know, suggestions. Um, so that, and then um, I think I initially was afraid to ask questions. Um, and what I would say is that there are no wrong questions. Um, you know, seeking to understand um, is one of our T-Tech values. And, and if you don't understand something, um, don't be afraid to ask. And I think as a 21 year old, I was probably a lot more shy and scared to ask things and ask questions. So. That's good. I love that. Um, well, one, thank you so much, uh, Mikey, for joining us today and particularly for Customer Service Week. And congratulations again on being our CX Magic Maker um, and that we will bid you adieu and actually talk a little bit about some hot jobs that we have today. Thank you so much, Mikey, for coming no, on. Thank you, guys. And, and, and thank you for all you guys do on Customer Service Week and, and every day mm -hmm. of the year. Really appreciate you. Thank you, Mikey. Um, all right. So I have seen this question asked throughout this uh, live, which is, are we hiring? Of course we're hiring. <laughs> you can go to our website, ttechjobs.com, so you can learn more. But I have some special jobs that we're going to highlight um, today. So let me let me get it ready for you so that way you can kind of learn a little bit more about what jobs we have for you today. All right. So one of the jobs that we are hiring is for a bilingual healthcare customer service rep uh, who actually speaks Russian and English. So they are bilingual. The position is remote and is in Washington state. So you can live anywhere in Washington state. Um, and we have the bilingual healthcare customer service representative role there. Um, and then we also have a talent acquisition marketing specialist role, um, and it is also remote. So if you are uh, interested in either one of these roles, um, the talent acquisition marketing specialist role is for um, those that are uh, do speak English and, and they reside in Athens, Greece, um, or in the Greece region. So if you are uh, looking for either one of these opportunities, of course, go to our website. We'll drop the links for both of these jobs below. So that way you can actually go in and apply or share it with someone maybe that you, you share it with someone that you know. Um, so that way you can actually uh, refer it to anyone that may be qualified. If neither one of those jobs or opportunities that you are interested in, um, please go to our website, ttechjobs.com so you can actually apply for any other opportunities that we have. So if you're looking for an opportunity, go to ttechjobs.com. You can also hit work from home. And then when you click on work from home, we'll be able to, you'll be able to scroll in and look at all the jobs we have available that are work from home across the globe, um, as well as any other opportunities we have that are on site where you can actually work on site with our teams there as well. Um, if you haven't already, follow us on our other social media channels. We are on Twitter, we're on TikTok, Instagram. And of course, we have our Facebook regional pages as well for you to follow us. This is Customer Service Week. We are wrapping it up on tomorrow, but we have a TikTok, TikTok uh, live that you can go back and watch today as well. Thank you guys so much. Happy Customer Service Week. Have an amazing week and weekend. We'll see you soon in two weeks for the next episode of Talent Show. Thank you.